Now let's consider graphs of motion for the case of constant acceleration. Constant acceleration or steady acceleration. In other words, the object is accelerating, but the acceleration doesn't change any over time. So again, we're going to look at two graphs. One graph of position, that might be in meters, where the object is at any given time and as before also a graph of velocity say meters per second how fast the objects moving at any given time and, and once again both of these graphs will depict the same motion and will again imagine the car moving along the road so there it goes it's moving forward so its position is changing in this case it's accelerating so its velocity is also changing. Uh, we're we're going to look at the velocity graph first because it's a little easier to think about in this case. If this car is speeding up that means that as time goes on its velocity is getting bigger. So the graph looks something like this. The velocity changes over time and specifically if it's accelerating picking up speed in the positive direction then the velocity is increasing over time. Now the position, let's say it starts off at zero so you can you can put a point right there on your graph. At first it's moving pretty slowly. It picks up speed over time so it's moving slowly at first and then it picks up speed and is moving faster and faster as time goes on. The graph ends up being a parabola. It looks like this to make a nice smooth curve. That's not perfect, but something like that. That's pretty good. It starts off moving very slow. The graph is actually flat right down here, just for an instant, and then it curves upward. And this means that as it moves, it picks up speed. Remember one of the things we said back in uh, earlier in the chapter. We said that the slope of a position graph is the velocity. Now take a look at this graph. Here it has a very small slope and as time goes on it gets steeper and steeper. Well the slope is the velocity so if the slope is getting steeper I'm trying to make my graph look a little bit nicer here. If the slope is getting greater and greater the graph is getting steeper and steeper that means the velocity is getting greater and greater. So what we see over here on the velocity graph as an increase in the value of the velocity over time we see on the position graph as an increase in the slope of the graph over time.